नमस्कार ए वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ईच वन ऑफ यू टू दिस सेशन लेटस टेक ए मोमेंट टू डाइव विद इन आवर सेल्फ एंड टेक स्टॉक आवर ऑफ आवर बॉडी and breath let both the body and the breath settle down free from all cares and worries let there be no interference from the mind get into the space of the heart where grace resides today is vijayadashmi which marks the return of lord ram ram after sc- scoring a victory over the forces of ravana if we look at the spiritual significance of the story of ramayan ram represents pure awareness if we go behind the meaning of the word ram <clears throat> in sanskrit it means ramate iti rama that principle which pervades everything that principle which is the common substratum of everything is ram of course for those who find it difficult to dive within ram is the prince born to dashrath and kaushalya in the city of ayodhya but if you go behind everything has a significance <clears throat> so for the spiritualist ram is pure awareness and the secret lies in this name because the great saint kabir he simply chanted the name ram and reached that state where everything was revealed to him if we go to the writing through the writings of kabir we find that all the secrets which are mentioned in the vedas he has experienced them on a personal plane and he is singing about them such is the grace of lord ram so let us feel his presence in our hearts and ask for grace ravana whom ram had to fight was a brahmin and he was not only an ordinary brahmin he was not some ordinary brahmin but he was very erudite very learned and he has pleased many gods and goddesses by his tapasya by his austerities but he had a strong mind so ravan represents the mind and when the mind goes out of control what does it do 
it indulges in things that are not appropriate. So Ravan was coveting Sita, who represents Shakti, the mother goddess. And he allured her and trapped her, kidnapped her and put her in his city where he ruled in a garden called Ashokvatika. So the Shakti when it is trapped and it is not in full flow, it is hidden in the Muladhar Chakra, the base of the spine. So Rama had to wage a war. But whom did he send to find it out? Hanuman. He is the Pavan Putra, the son of the wind god. How do we experience wind in our bodies? In the form of the breath. And it is through the breath that prana, the power that is experienced. The life force is experienced. So Ravana was one alley. The other one was Lakshman. Lakshman shows discretion. So this entire battle of Ramayana It is the battle of pure awareness, where pure awareness conquers the mind. This is the battle that each one of us has to fight. And in this we need the support of discretion, that is Lakshman, the younger brother of Ram, Ram and Hanuman, who is the significator of the breath and the prana. So as you hold the awareness of Ram in your heart, become aware of the breath and the prana. Anuman is also a great master, a great guru. So let us pray to the Guru for grace. We will chant Om three times. And then sing the Guru Vandana. Chakshurun me litam yena 
तस्मै श्री गुरवे नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री सद्गुरव नम वी बाउ डाउन टू ऑल द मास्टर्स मोर स्पेशली टू लॉर्ड हनुमान बिकॉज इट इज विजयादशमी टुडे यू सीक देयर ब्लेसिंग्स एंड सपोर्ट for healing as appropriate in this session sadgurunath maharaj ki jai we will continue with the dna healing that we did yesterday any healing is possible only when we can activate the prana tattva within the element of prana when it is awakened and it is promoted when allowed to prosper or nurtured then we rise in awareness and as we rise in awareness clear sight arises it is like you are driving to the top of a mountain and as long as you are at the base or in the middle you have very little idea of the way because whatever you have traversed it is not in your view and what lies the head is also not in your view the sight is limited but as one starts reaching closer to the top then we can one can see this entire pathway laid bare open to sight and this is when clear sight emerges so going closer to the top is rising in awareness when we rise in awareness we have a clearer sight some purification happens within and we are given the tools so that we can understand our journey through this life so let us make an intention that each one of us is able to absorb the energy the sound energy and thereby rise in awareness for clearer sight first we will do chakra healing and then we will play some frequencies where we will be going from the lower frequency to very high frequencies so that the awareness levels is also also go up high and then we will do the healing frequencies for dna so let us start
Now we are playing the DNA frequencies.
Rest in the silence within. This silence is the nature of pure awareness. That Lord Ram is I acknowledge this awareness and this very pulsation in every cell of your being. Thank yourself for being here. Thank everyone else present. and rest in the silence. Sometimes we become silent. Then we are in great distress. We don't know how to respond. But this is a silence of fullness where there is no need to respond. Gently bring your awareness to your bodies. And 
be connected to the breath. Take a few deep, deep breaths <clears throat> to infuse greater awareness of the body. You may want to bring your palms together, rub them against one another. Feel the energy building up in the palms. Cover your eyes with your palms. And through the pyramid of the palms, let energy rush into your being. Keep breathing. And when you feel like, <clears throat> just caress your face. And when you are ready, you can gently open your eyes. So how was this session? Anybody wants to share anything? You are most welcome. Otherwise we will close with Shanti Pat. Yes, Induji, you want to say, say something? Go ahead. Yes, sir, I want to create. It's a beautiful session, very soothing. The frequencies were like just flowing one to the other, very nice flow to them, very soft. Yesterday also I felt the same way, but there was no opportunity to say it. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thank you so much. See, when we get a feedback like this, I feel inspired to do something. I'm also trying, you know, just some days it works out, some days it doesn't. So <laughs> thank you, Gurudev. I'm learning. I'm feeling very light. Ah, I'm feeling very light. Thank you. Thank you, Sushil. Sushil. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Anna, do you want to say something? Oh, yes. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, I felt the same way. It was very steeped in awareness. The sounds were very compelling. And I wondered if you could, if this was a good time, if not another time, to explain DNA healing. Uh-huh. You see what happens is that uh, we have brought our DNA. And DNA has come, if we get a testing done of our DNA, we will find that the DNA comes from so many sources. So people who take great pride in, you know, belonging to a particular caste or creed or nationality, <laughs> their pride uh, will be finished if they get their DNA tests done. And they will be surprised to see that it's a mixture of so many things. And through the DNA, we have brought many characteristics. And through the DNA, we brought some of our handicaps also. So when the healing happens, we are, the cleansing takes place at a much deeper level. And many of the challenges that we face or many of the habit patterns that we have brought forward, they can be healed if DNA is healed. So this is the, uh, in short, the explanation for DNA healing. It takes time because there are some seven, eight frequencies, so I don't do it quite often. And I have all the pipes, but I keep them only for some special occasions. So since we were doing this three-week program, I thought maybe two, three days that we can do the DNA healing. Otherwise, we normally use a frequency. Very often, we use a frequency, single frequency, 528 hertz. That is the DNA healing frequency. So when we want to do a general healing, we do that. 
we use it very often we use it often along with another frequency which is very close that is 531 hertz so 528 is the frequency for dna healing 531 hertz is the frequency for abundance when the healing takes place on the inside we feel expanded so real abundance is felt and because the abundance is felt when one gets you know into a mode where the the soul starts expressing itself in a more natural way most of the time we are constricted you know like i was in a government service so when i was leaving the training college one of our trainers whom i held in very high esteem esteem he i was going to a particular place which was not considered very good so he said oh this is a, not a good place and there is he took the name of a particular boss and he said if you have to work under him beware he can will spoil you you will learn bad things and then another thing he said you are in a public dealing job so people will come with some kind of an expectation or work so he said don't smile and i took it very seriously it was very difficult for me to smile before strangers and when i met my guru and i the, the seva that was given to me was the seva of public speaking i used to be the master of ceremonies for certain programs and there you go on the podium there are these 500 to 2000 people <laughs> sitting before you the faces are full of expectation and the first thing you get up there and you tell them welcome everyone i am so happy to see you i said those words but there was no welcome in my voice or in my countenance so why because this very thought that i should not smile i had taken it so seriously and followed it so sincerely that i had forgotten to smile except with family and some close friends so this is how we keep developing these things and all these traits and behaviors they are embedded in our dna so when the healing happens many things many of our limitations they just disappear miraculously so that is a short explanation for this frequency Thank you and also thank you for the awareness of the day for Rama. Yes, that is very important because there you know, are people normally think that Ram is the king of Ayodhya is a person he was a person he did this he fought the wars but the very name Ram suggests that Ramate eti Rama Ram embodies that principle which is present in everything and so the more we connect with that principle then we come to know our own true nature and that is the purpose of a spiritual life instead of looking for things on the outside we must turn within so thank you anybody else want to say something otherwise we'll close I was not expecting so many people today because today is the Shara and it's a holiday, so families want to celebrate together. So let us send with Shanti Bhatt. स्वस्तिर्भवतु 
ಪೂರ್ಣ ಮಂಗಲ ಸುಖಿ ಪಶ್ಯ ಕಚಿದ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮೇ ಪೀಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಷಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವೇಲ್ ಪ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಸದ್ಗುರುನಾಥ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕೀ ಜೈ